Hey guys, I just got back from a five day trip to Sweden. I obviously went fishing a lot when I was there. Uh, so I've made a compilation of a few days of fishing up there for perch and sander, etc. Beautiful surroundings, nice fishing. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy a longer video for me this time of a few fishing trips made into one. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a subscription if you enjoy it. Bye. Okay, so I am very excited about this place. I am in Sweden. Bowman is out there, a huge lake. And this way, there is a beautiful stream channel. And obviously we're fishing by the concrete, but there are a lot of perch here. So we're gonna go all the way down there and see some nature soon. But from now on, well, for now, sorry, we're gonna fish here. Let's see what happens. My friend just got a perch. Fish on. Inside the dam. Final perch. Oh. Fell off right in front of me. Loads of fish inside the dam. Wow, what a take. <laughs> Ah! I'm stuck. This is a bit freaky. Let's walk around here. Ah. Oh, it's a pipe. Damn it. Fisk magic. So I switched to drop shot. Instant success. Boom. There's a little fella, Swedish perch. On a drop shot. And if you don't know where a drop shot rig is, it's a tungsten lead at the bottom. Then the lure is hanging up here. So it has free movement just down the bottom. And then you can just jig it slowly so it has hang time. If the perch are a bit tricky, then that's going to give you fish. And that was an instant success for me this time. You see the fishing is better today than yesterday because it's been high pressure for a couple of days, right? Yeah, it's much more active right now. Yeah. See if we can find a perch in, under the bridge today. Maybe some of the big ones standing in there. Uh, oh, dude, you. Oh, yeah, that's a bigger fish. Can you take the net? That's a better fish. Oh, that's a better fish. Oh, I lost it. I don't know. That was a pretty decent fish, man. Did you see it? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Even if, if they take this lure, you should try a lure that's a bit bitter, bigger, so you get bigger perch. Because they, they seem to like this one as well. You saw that? Yeah. They're chasing each other. Look how many perch. Yes. That's a big, that's a good one. Just hold your rod down. Hold your, oh, oh, I have one. Oh my God, this is Bonanza. This is the perch Bonanza you were talking about. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that, look at the big ones. Oh, 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 oh. Net, 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 net. Look at this. Look at this fish. Colors. Dude, dude, the big ones are standing under the bridge. Let's go out. Ah. Okay, little buddy. There it goes. Beautiful sight. And they're very active, so uh, you don't have to fish on the bottom. You just have to cast out a few spin stops. Did you see all the perch the same size and bigger chasing the one I had on? Yeah. Oh, oh, I have fish too. 
fish on. Look, there's they're chasing. It's they're oh, it right. fell off. They're they're seriously feeding so hard. Do you want to borrow a bigger lure? Yeah, I want. To, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just uh, you can take. You can use a high five as well. These guys, these uh, lures I got. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a very that's a decent fish. It's not a huge one, but again, nice average size. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful colors on these Swedish perch here. They look a lot like the Danish perch, actually exactly the same. It's like a handful of a fish. It goes. Okay, let's see. We want to get a 40 centimeter plus perch today. That would be awesome for you guys. I've also gone pike fishing a bit here in Sweden. I will tomorrow. It's going to be pike fishing. See if I can get a big pike on video for you guys as well. Maybe some sander if we're lucky. I don't know if Matsis will be joining me or if it's going to be a solo trip. There it is in the stop. Oh, it fell off. So you caught your personal best? Yeah, yeah, this is my personal best. Yeah, let me see it for the camera. That's a beautiful fish, man. 30 centimeters. Good job, buddy. Thanks, man. And you're not a geeky ankle like me who fishes all the time. So no, this, no, is, a, so, this so, is a big perch so for you. This is a big perch for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it is a beautiful fish. Let's get a picture for your bragging wall. So this is Mattis's rod that he bought in the Yosemite. And it's like such a ghetto rod, but it's so fun to fish with. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, that should do. Don't yeah. you think so? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I mean, they come as a little gift. Okay, so now there's no noise. There's probably going to be a bite in that one very soon. Well, there's noise, but I am going to try and show you guys my gear. Okay, I'm going to show you guys my rod. My setup, I'm using a Weston W6 street stick. It throws two to 10 gram. I'm uh, using a five gram tungsten jig head. And I'm using a seven centimeter shat from High Five Lures. Uh, it's very effective today. And I'm using 030 fluorocarbon in case that some of the pike want to bite my perch lures, because that's not something that doesn't happen. It happens quite a lot. Uh, and I just tied it with a uni knot to my line, a double uni knot, and a braid knot as well. I can show you guys at some point how to tie that. And uh, then I'm using a size 1000 reel, Diva Regal, size 1000. And that's my setup for today. And it's a lot of fun on the light gear to catch perch. And Look Mattis is showing me uh, how, how much this jig works because it's just been bitten off. A, a perch bit off my yeah. tail. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it's good I have a lot of them. Put on a new one. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Okay, so they're not, they're not taking the worm right now. They probably will. I, I mean, it seems like they're standing in the shade under, under the bridge. And actually it's a bit risky what I just did because I might hit, the, hit my other line. Are they still taking it in the stop? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, there's a fish on now. Okay, there's a fish on this worm. Yeah. Wow, how angry can you be? Bite my finger. Right. There we go. Look at this beauty. Absolutely hammered it. Mwah. All right. See you. Grow bigger. Yeah, and that was a small perch. I took the life bait. All right, so it just ate a roach. It's down here, a little fatty. <laughs> here you go. Det er 
rigtig, rigtig stor. Nu skal jeg løbe op sådan lidt, eller? Ja, den er rigtig, rigtig stor. Look at this fish. Beautiful perch. Look at this. All the way down. I didn't have my GoPro on, because it was basically like the last cast. There we go. Look at it. Beauty. I just basically, I threw out my lure, and I just let it move in, in the current. I didn't even spin it in, because I thought, hey, what if I just let this, the current move my lure? I'm so sad I didn't have to take on, on GoPro, man, because it was such a hard strike. Okay, let's get her out. There she goes. Boom, what a beautiful fish, man. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Of course, when you leave your GoPro in the car, you catch the biggest one of the day. <laughs> well, then after all, it was good that we went here and just gave it a few more casts. <laughs> So beautiful. Look at his teeth. Wow. Give me Look at this beauty. Look at this beautiful fish. That's a sander. She's gonna give it to me. I need to just get a tack. Wow. Oh, look at this. 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 Oh,